there guys, welcome back to the show. So I don't know if you noticed, but in the last few weeks I haven't done any video or podcast episodes. I haven't gone live on Facebook. I've been basically completely incognito. So in case you're wondering why that is, I was on vacation. I actually take tech-free vacations. Now I know you're probably thinking to yourself, sure, but you could have scheduled something, right? You know I do my videos and my episodes in advance and I could have, it's true. But here's the thing. I wanted you to realize that it's okay to have weeks where you don't serve your audience. Yes, I am 100% a firm believer in consistency. You need to be showing up regularly for your audience online if you're going to create any kind of audience whatsoever because people like to see professionalism, right? They like to know that you're gonna be there for them when, you, when they need you. But here's the thing. Yesterday was my birthday, and the week before that, I was visiting family in Iowa and in Colorado. So here's the deal, right? I don't believe that I have to be 100% in my business all the time. That's the whole point of this show, is to show you guys, haha, no pun intended, that work-life balance is okay. So we're gonna talk in this video about one tip I have for you if you are going on a tech-free vacation, and that is set up automation that's gonna let your clients know what they should do in the meantime, okay? Let's go over a couple of tips on that. The first one is if you're like me and you use Gmail as your email provider for back and forth with your clients, Gmail actually has an amazing vacation autoresponder. So I usually set it up the day before I go and I tell them in the email exactly what day I'll be back. But here's the trick, right? I don't tell them the day I'm coming back to work. I tell them the day that I'm gonna be back is the day I actually plan to get back to them. So in this case, I was coming back on Monday but I said in my email responder, I wouldn't be back until the end of Tuesday. That gives me an entire day to catch up on all of my emails and all of the things that I didn't get done and get all my ducks in a row so I'm ready for their communication, right? Same with my voicemail, that one's an obvious one. But you can also give your clients homework to do. If you're a consultant or coach like I am, there's plenty of stuff they can be working on while you're not there, right? So giving them something you want them to get done between now and when you're back is a great way to feel like they are engaging with you and actually make progress without having to one-on-one -on -one talk to you during that time. Now, there's two other things I do when I take a tech-free vacation. One, I always, always, always have a colleague who is ready to step forward if my clients have an absolute emergency and they need to get a hold of a live human being. So for me, I happen to have a friend who's a consultant who's been doing this for 35 years, longer than I've been alive, actually. <laughs> so he steps in when I need a little break, right? But he doesn't step in and do all my client calls because let's be honest, he doesn't know where all my clients stand. And even if I'd spent the hours it would take to hand everything over to him, half the time that would be wasted work because I've set it up so well that my clients don't really need a human being that one or two weeks I'm gone, right? So he's just there to handle emergencies and he has access to all my files in case he needs to get a quick catch up of where things stand. He also has a way to get a hold of me the only time that has not been the case is when I was backpacking. So when I'm backpacking and I purposely do not bring a cell phone, there's literally no way to get a hold of me. But again, he's got 35 years of experience to draw on. So you see the point, right? Having some kind of relief person step up and be there for your clients when you can't be is a great way to take a tech-free vacation, as well as using automation so that they know what they should be working on in the meantime. And last tip on doing this is if you say tech free, be tech free, like actually leave your phone behind. This time I decided not to do that. I had a work free vacation, but it was not actually tech free because I love my phone, I love social media, and I was sharing pictures of our journey along the way because in case you guys didn't get the memo, our trip got pretty messed up by COVID. So it actually was kind of amusing to show all the crazy things that happened on our trip. We had a really great time. 
But there you go. Those are my tips for how to actually step away from your business when you need to and get out there and get some me time or family time so you can refresh, right? Because that's what work-life balance is all about. It's not about you know, saying that business is not important or your career is not important or your clients are not important. None of those things are true. It's simply a fact that you, your body, your mind, you as a spiritual being are 100% the most valuable resource that your business has. So if you're not taking care of those things, you're not taking care of business, okay? So there, there's my tip for the week. I hope you found it helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I will reach back to you. Talk to you soon. Bye.